psychopathy diabetes is the leading cause of uh, chronic kidney disease in the world as well as in india so this uh, diabetes nephropathy is an important topic uh, this uh, progress through stages five stages it will progress through so if we look at the stage 1 of diabetes nephropathy stage 1 is uh, unique in the sense that uh, it shows a uh, uh, hyperfiltration hyper filtration hyper filtration means gfr is increased here so uh, uniquely gfr is high and if the gfr is high the serum creatinine value reduces very characteristic but let's see uh, what is the mechanism of uh, hyper filtration here very very important mechanism Uh, some physiology points we should be aware of in the uh, diabetes nephropathy uh, phase so uh, when there is a glucose urea this is the glomeruli this is a afferent arteriole just for an example and this is efferent arteriole just for an example so we know that if afferent arteriole vasodilate more gfr will be there more blood will enter the glomeruli and more gfr will be uh, there due to afferent dilatation so what happens uh, there is a glucose urea here glucose urea and this glucose urea glucose come in the uh, urine uh, tubules renal tubules and in the proximal tubule there is a uh, this uh, transporter sglt sodium glucose transporter so what does that do that uh, reabsorb the glucose back and along with that it absorb the sodium also sglt transporter so uh, when sodium enters the body what it will lead to it will of course lead to ecf volume high ecf volume high and if ecf volume is high atria stretch and when atria stretch anp is released and anp leads to afferent this is a physiology afferent dilatation afferent arteriolar dilatation so when the afferent arteriolar dilate gfr increases so this is the mechanism of the uh, uh, diabetes stage 1 nephropathy so mechanism is glucose urea and from this uh, flow chart uh, you can also understand when there is a high ecf that we will discuss during the tubular disorder whenever there is a ecf volume is high uh, ras is inhibited so low renin low aldosterone will happen here that we will be discuss in the renal tubular acidosis so remember this point now what is the duration after the diabetes diagnosis the duration after the diabetes diagnosis of stage 1 is 1 to 2 years of uncontrolled sugars what is the treatment treatment is glycemic control so if we do a glycemic control glucose urea will be less and hence this mechanism will be less so this is the uh, stage 1 very importantly hyperfiltration due to afferent arteriolar dilate now come to the stage 2 of diabetes nephropathy stage 2 so stage 2 of diabetic nephropathy it is uh, also known as a uh, silent stage here the gfr comes to normal it normalizes and uh, serum creatinine normalizes so this stage uh, is diagnosed only when we have the previous report available with us if the previous report is not available but with us it will not be diagnosed so because in the previous report the gfr was high creatinine was low then we can compare otherwise uh, we can't make a diagnosis uh, here on a routine basis so what exactly is the mechanism here 
so the mechanism is uh, like we have seen the diagram of the glomeruli like this this is the diagram of glomeruli innermost layer is the endothelial layer endothelial layer is a uh, afferent arteriole and uh, outside it is gbm glomerular basement membrane so what was happening in the stage 1 this uh, capillary endothelium was having dilatation so now what happens here uh, some age products age products are a advanced a means advanced glycosylation e and products so these are advanced glycolysation and products this is just the protein attaching with the glucose and uh, they change their structure and uh, function so these age products they deposit on deposit on capillary endothelial layer so understand this phenomena importantly in the stage 1 this was dilated this was dilated now the age products are deposited on this layer age products are deposited here so it will make the lumen normal initially it was dilated but when they get deposited the lumen will become a normal now from dilated to normal so gfr returns to normal creatinine returns to normal the duration of diabetes after which it develops is 5 years from uncontrolled diabetes treatment treatment is same glycemic control glycemic control now comes the most crucial stage of diabetes nephropathy stage 3 this is the most crucial stage reason uh, at or before this stage the things are reversible and unfortunately it is undiagnosed because the test is not advised uh, for this uh, diagnosing this stage uh, this stage is known as the stage of microalbuminuria Ab albumin urea, micro albumin urea. So micro albumin urea means we have done the definition earlier. Also, it is a, a loss of a, a small quantity of albumin that is thirty to three hundred milligram per gram of urine creatinine. Unfortunately, this is not detected on urine dipstick. Not detected on urine dipstick. how it is detected the most convenient method to detect it is a spot urine albumin creatinine ratio most uh, convenient random sample is given 24 hour collection is do most reliable but that is inconvenient to the patient so always ask the patient to undergo micro albuminuria test that is urine albumin creatinine ratio Uh, albumin, if going in more quantity than the normal, causes a free radical injury to the tubule and kidney parenchyma. So, a free radical injury by albumin leading to the GFR starts to decrease. Serum creatinine starts to increase. Though they can be within the normal limit, uh, physiological limit, but they start showing uh, uh, decrease and increase respectively. So, what exactly is the mechanism? Mechanism is that the age products. Now, what happens? Look at the above diagram. Now, the age product they start depositing on the GBM, and GBM function was prevent the protein filtration. so these age product deposit on the gbm decreasing its negative charge so albumin start leaking uh, initially in a small quantity so the mechanism is age products advanced glycosylation and products deposit on gbm and albumin causes free radical injury to the kidney tubules and parenchyma duration uh, when it develops is 10 years of uncontrolled sugars now the treatment treatment for this condition is ace inhibitor even if bp is normal 
reason ACE inhibitor ACE inhibitor causes the uh, efferent arterial dilatation because they inhibit the angiotensin effect as a result glomerular filtration pressure glomerular filtration pressure reduces and when the glomerular filtration pressure reduces uh, protein urea reduce albumin urea reduce so we will give uh, ACE inhibitor ACE inhibitor will have more benefit than the risk benefit of decreasing the protein urea because they cause free radical injury what is the risk risk is when the glomerular filtration pressure is reduced there is a risk of a mild reduction in gfr also but that is risk is a very negligible risk but that risk is very very less as compared with the benefit that we are achieving therefore ace inhibitors are given here now the stage 4 stage 4 so the stage 4 is the stage of uh, macro albuminuria macro albuminuria is diagnosed on urine dipstick but it is irreversible uh, gfr is reduced here uh, serum creatinine is increased here now the uh, mechanism mechanism here is more gbm damage duration after the diabetes diagnosis is 15 years of uncontrolled diabetes and the treatment is ace inhibitors ace inhibitors now comes the stage 5 a uh, stage 5 is known as the end stage uh, renal disease end stage renal disease here the gfr value is less than 15 ml per minute per 1.73 meter square area and of course serum creatinine is grossly high here so the mechanism of this condition is now the sclerosis process is taking place sclerosis is taking place here and the duration of the diabetes uh, after which it is uh, uh, developed 15 to 20 years that means uncontrolled sugars will affect the kidney within 20 years of diagnosis treatment unfortunately the nephropathy which must have been reversed in stage 3 can progress to stage 5 so only option here is renal replacement therapy renal replacement therapy that is either dialysis or renal transplant so this is how the diabetes nephropathy progresses